absolutely love beautiful gardens. And because I do, I often have to dig deep into the reserves of my creativity and create the extravagant ideas for little to nothing. guys my name is Taquisha this is our freedom song I am standing in our garden and I am so excited we have seriously accomplished so much in the last week week and a half that has transformed the space so much without having much of a budget I've just looked around to see what it is that we already had around here that I could use in this space that would really just freshen things up and make things just feel just new and exciting to go with this new season. I have mentioned how much I absolutely love fall and so just with the cooler weather I've been so happy to just get out here get creative be artistic and just pour some of that creativity and artisticness into the garden to just really work on the aesthetics and the vibe in here. So many things has changed in the garden. We just finished this kind of renewal, this garden renovation. And with that comes so many new ideas about what our space can be and what it can feel like. I have used several things that we've just repurposed and recycled. The same idea like how we did with our beautiful greenhouse there. I just love to be able to re-envision things and make it work for whatever season I am in. And that's what I tried to do in our garden space. And it has really come together. I'm so satisfied with how things are looking and how it's feeling in here. Little pops of color, just a little <laughs> here and there. So excited about just the transformation of this space. So I'm going to take you on a little journey with me so that you can see exactly how we have arrived to this place that we are in right now. These are the final two cattle panels that we have from when we disassembled our hoop house. And I have been really, really, really thinking about where I wanted to use these. And this space is going to be the perfect place to repurpose these cattle panels. Now, I will tell you that working with these cattle panels is not for the faint of heart or the weak of arm because they are they are tricky and they are will try to assassinate you if it flings the wrong way so you really have to have your mind about you when you're working with these things i am so grateful that i did not have to try to tackle this by myself because i'm sure that it would have felt impossible for sure. So it was nice to at least struggle with another person. <laughs> right. After we struggled to get that in place, I knew immediately that I needed this to look different and I actually needed the arch to be a lot wider. So, this is probably going to be the second out of the fourth time that we ended up changing it. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but we did eventually get it exactly like how I envisioned it. I was very grateful for my son's patience with me. He hung in there like a trooper and kept a great attitude. Every time I wanted to pull those T-posts out and move that cattle panel, he just hung in there with me. And so <laughs> definitely appreciate that. Now, I told him, I was like, your wife is just going to be such a blessed woman to have you as a husband <laughs> because he is very patient. <laughs> Looks like the Oregon Trail. It might be the Oregon Trail. <laughs> uh -oh. 
Because the back one is like perfectly fine. Like it is, it's good. It's too, it's too squeezed. Okay, so this is looking very Oregon trail -y. So we are going to widen it a little bit to give it a better look. Okay, it's better. <laughs> so much better, right? It's so, look at like changing it, that's so much better. <laughs> I was so happy that that arch came together the way that I envisioned it finally and that my son did agree with me that it did indeed look so much better. So if you were here last fall, you'll remember that I used these they look like ladders, but they were on the side of the road. I do think that it was for some type of bed frame, but I used these in the front of our hoop house as an arbor and loved it. And now I'm going to reuse these pieces for this space right here. So when you live in a space that is heavily wooded, best believe that every time you get ready to dig a hole, there will be a root there. It never fails. I absolutely love how well these two chairs just fit so nice in this space. I did spray paint them so that they would match and they just feel right. I am going to be using some leftover bricks. If you could remember, these are the bricks that we were given for our um, greenhouse floor. And there were so many left. I'm able to take these bricks and go all the way around the greenhouse, which I think is a good call. I absolutely love working with defined spaces and so this really helps to define the space around the greenhouse so that we can plant flowers here.
these are our coffee grinds from our daily use of coffee <laughs> and as well as some eggshells that I'm going to put here. I'm also going to plant any flowers that we have left that are still on the vine that's going to be pulled up and we're just going to end up burying all of those things under the soil they will have plenty of time to break down um, as this area is just going to be dormant throughout the winter and so by the time it's spring it is going to be so full of nutrients I'm so excited to be using these panels that we received from a friend who took down her deck and we have a unlimited resource of bamboo on our property so I like to utilize it as much as possible. They really came in handy for these panels. I absolutely love the vibe that the panels bring to this area and I just appreciate them. I love being able to repurpose and reuse, re-envision and there was actually the right, just the right amount of these panels to span this whole backside of our fence. And so how cool is that? So up next, I'm going to be giving these Dollar Tree Stackable Planters a facelift. These were also given to me and I just love that because I get to reuse them. Something that somebody didn't want, I get to figure out how it can work and where it can go. And this is such a great place for these planters to go. For now, I imagine that these strawberries could go here and it would be my hope to get some more strawberry plants in the spring to add, but I think it would be absolutely gorgeous to have the strawberries dripping down from these planters right at the entrance of our perennial garden. I absolutely love terracotta pots and I found these at a thrift store. They gave me a lot of them. So there were probably five or six of them and I paid $20 for them, which I felt like was such a great deal. The sizes varied, but I just love, love, love them. This one that I'm painting right here actually had like this foam stuff in it that we had to dig out, but I love this little pot. With seeing me pull out this sand, you probably already have guessed what I am about to plant. <laughs> I am going to be planting some carrots in these front pots and I'm going to hope for the best because they are going to be unprotected. But I think it would be such a beautiful look because they are cold hardy. They can last through the winter I would love to have green carrots, all those beautiful green sprouts in front of the greenhouse. You know what, but we're just gonna have to see. I have high hopes, I really do. So for this mix, I just did some in-ground soil with some sand and I mixed some peat moss in there. I also used some of the worm castings. So I'm hoping that this is a very good mix for the carrots. I am so happy about the germination rate on these carrots. It was such a relief to finally get such an amazing germination rate after trying, failing, and trying again. <laughs> So now that they've germinated in abundance, I'm hoping that this mix will be just what it needs. It has plenty of sand in it, I'm hoping, um, so that it stays nice and pliable and they are just able to grow in these pots. Oh. 
I absolutely love everything that has happened in this space. It is so incredible to have such drastic change with only a couple cans of spray paint and some used items and it completely transformed this space and it's just such a cool thing to have a garden because you don't feel like everything needs to be new and you can bring in those character pieces that just really add to the naturalness of the space and i absolutely love that i love that so much this is the view right here that I was hoping to have standing in the garden. I wanted to be able to see that greenhouse and I'm just so grateful that I didn't allow the fear that wanted to rise up in me um, just stop me from making the big changes, making the changes that, you know, I wasn't sure if it was going to pan out, but it did. It did, y'all. It's so gorgeous. And I love just being in here and being able to see the greenhouse no matter where we are. I mean, we put a lot of effort and thought into that greenhouse and it's definitely a feature of our garden. And so I'm so happy that, yes, I took down the hoop house, but you can see it. I know you can see it. It was totally worth it. <laughs> I cannot wait to hear what you guys think about just adding just a little bit here, a little bit there. How do you think it has transformed the garden? I absolutely love it here. I feel like I always feel like it can't get much better than this and then it does. And so it's so amazing. It definitely is a space that reflects us, it reflects my family, it reflects our personality it reflects our style preferences probably more my style preference more than anybody else obviously but everybody loves it here and it's just it's just us it's just us and it feels really 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 good i look forward to hearing from you guys in the comments definitely let me know what you think i appreciate you guys for hanging out with me in the garden today i will see you guys next time